Aloha, everybody. Yeah, aloha. Thanks for thanks for tuning in to uh, the first episode ever of We Shall Tiki with Ray live. <laughs> and um, I'll be honest with you, I'm used to I'm used to making videos where I record it, right? And then I can edit it. Yeah, so you have the option to make it a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, get over some of the stammering, make the conversation make sense better. Yeah, it makes me makes me seem like I know what I'm talking <laughs> about a little bit better. And I like to do that because I like to take the videos and I like to clean them up and edit it and stuff like that. And then I started doing my live show in mm-hmm. front of an audience. And of course, yeah, that is live. Yeah, so there's more energy. There is you more get, energy. You get feedback. But you're playing off the crowd. But the thing is, is you're only still playing off of like a crowd of like 20 people. And forever, I've was always about not doing streaming live mm-hmm. because it's live. It's live, live. But due to the circumstances that we got going on with the coronavirus, and a lot of people are starting to post stuff live right. streaming, I thought, well, maybe this would be a good idea to do this. And the thing is, it's like my buddy Jason Craig here. We've been you've been on the show now. How many times? Five, six, I, I don't know. Oh, it's I, more I've, than that. I've been along to help a whole bunch of times. But yeah, but you've been on I've the... actually been in front of the camera probably five or six times. I, I haven't really counted. No, it, it's more than that. And there's a lot of people that like you. And I'm I a thought, likable guy, right? Yeah, you're a likable <laughs> guy. When you're drunk, so make sure you drink up. And oh, okay. I thought like, well... Fun to be with, just add alcohol. Yeah, that, Jason, if you, want, if you want to have a good time with Jason, just have him drink a couple drinks otherwise we're going to be talking about the homeless crisis and all kinds of stuff yeah we're not going to talk about that today on this show so last week we fooled around with going live it was kind of let's do this let's yeah let's just, let's, let's just, just see what happens let's just go on and we can and then we did that and obviously we we're half drunk and we we're just kind of messing around more than anything about it. yeah now we're only a quarter drunk so we should be even better no yeah, we should be drinking more than <laughs> so ray what you drinking there's a shrunken skull from the devil's reef that is a, a Jason Alexander recipe. Yeah. Yeah. God, I miss that place. Yeah. So the Devil's Reef is right down the road from my apartment where we are we are, we are sitting right now. And I got to tell you, not being able to go there and, and enjoy the company of my friends in Ohana is, is really weighing heavily on me. So I, I hope that wherever you're at, you've got, you know, somebody that you can spend some time with. If you can't spend time with them in person, spend time with them online. But yeah. don't don't isolate yourself more than you can handle. Reach out if you need to. Yeah, and, and Jason's right. And, I mean, seriously, anyone out there, if you know me, reach out if you need someone to talk to. Shoot me a message on Facebook. Um, on that note, Ray, I, I think it's important to let people know that Ray and I live in different areas, but we're both single guys. We both live in apartments by ourselves. Neither one of us are, are in you know the danger zone of susceptible or especially vulnerable and neither one of us have contact with people that are so that's why we're we're meeting up to do things like this because we feel like we're not greatly at risk and we're not going to put others at risk but we do understand that it's important to to self-isolate and to i I keep hearing the term shelter in place i I prefer to aloha in place because that that just sounds better to me a little bit more more exciting more enjoyable but we are conscious of the fact that yeah, Ray and I are exposing our, <laughs> exposing ourselves to each other. Just <laughs> that is not what I meant to say. <laughs> so much. I'm exposing <laughs> myself to <you>, Jason. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so much for the live format. Um, but we are conscious of that. So you know, please no no comments about we we shouldn't be getting near each other because we're, we're taking it into account. We're we're both adults. We're we're being we're being good about this. Neither one of us. Both of us have jobs where we. We have to be around other people. So I, I can only isolate so much. Ray can only isolate so much. We, we still are earning a living. We're taking risks into, we're, we're taking that as a factor. But you, you got to make the best and the most of the situation right now. No, and, and here's the thing, seriously. I mean, like I've been, I've been literally te- che- checking my temperature like a couple times a day, 98.0 today. And um, I've been doubling up on the vitamin C, and I've been doubling up on the vitamin D. I mean, again, I understand that mm-hmm. there can be no, you could have no symptoms and still have the coronavirus. But the thing is, it's like Jason and all you guys, you are my ohana, you know. And um, if there's anything that I can do, is to help everyone out there, is just make some videos that 
maybe you find entertaining or maybe you'll get a fun chuckle or something like that then then that's what i'm here to do so when i was thinking about coming going live and streaming you know i thought of a name <laughs> and we shall tiki with ray now i want to well, I'm going to let Jason explain. So obviously you all know me, Tiki with Ray. But Jason has his own name, We Shall Tiki. And Jason, what is it, that? It, it kind of came about as I, I, want, I really wanted to take part in Instagram more and I needed something to use. And I caught myself one day, we were planning to meet up, I believe, at the Devil's Reef. It could have been as far back as the Tacoma Cabana, but I think it was the Devil's Reef maybe, you know, two or more years ago. And back and forth with friends, including Ray literally saying we shall tiki because that's the way i felt about it because it was to me it was an event if i was meeting up with my friends at the tiki bar we were going to tiki and and tiki was a noun it was a verb it was an adjective it meant we were going to enjoy each other's company we were going to hoist some cocktails we were going to have a good time so um there's also a, a thing with uh, i don't know if you're all familiar with with modern drunkard that's something that i've been following for 10 or 15 years easily but they had something about, about uh, we, we, will, we will rise up and soar like drunken eagles. And that was kind of the, the concept that I had. We will, we will leave this mundane world behind and we will rise up and soar like tiki eagles into the, into the, off into the horizon. So we shall tiki just meant let's get together with some friends and have a good time. Yeah. And you actually had a logo made. Yes, yes. Rob Kramer did a, a fantastic logo for me and I love it. And I regret that I haven't done much, but... Life has a way of getting in the way of living, so it's been a it's been a, a, a rough road for the last six months or more, and I'm, I'm not going to elaborate here because this isn't the place for it, but I can tell you that, that, that Tiki and my Ohana have been something that has, has really helped me get through a rough patch. Yeah. So my feeling is I wanted to start this live show, to do a streaming live show, and... I think what better name to call it is We Shall Tiki With Ray. And the idea of this show, and I want to let you all know what this show is going to be about, because this isn't going to be the only one. Um, hopefully sooner than later when this, this, epidemic, this epidemic is done and gone, this is a new thing. This is something that we're going to continue to do. We're going to continue to make streaming live shows. And um, I guess we'll figure out what the duration will be on it. Yeah, and um, we we are right now flying by the seat of our jeans and uh, and cargo pants, yeah. so to speak. And what what I'm going to plan on doing is I plan on I'm I'm actually filming this for the YouTube channel, my YouTube channel too. So the videos will be up on there too, as well. And we're going to continue to do this. And this show is definitely going to be more a lot of my my show Tiki with Ray is where I'm the host and then I have guests and obviously Jason's been on my show mm -hmm. several times as a guest but this show here is going to be both of us are the hosts that would be the idea yeah it's equal it's an equal show where you and I are both of the guests and then I mean hosts and then obviously maybe as time goes on maybe we will we will have guests and then we can drill them and then right <laughs> Right, but the idea is this is this is a little more a little more free form, a little little less in control. So we'll we'll see where it goes. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to do a good job. We're going to entertain people, and and everybody's going to enjoy it. The message that I want to let everyone know is, um, I mean, obviously, I remember when FaceTime came out, hmm. and I remember there was Skype, and I remember a couple of years ago, my whole family lives in Pennsylvania, I live out in Seattle, and of course, I live I miss my my, my parents greatly. And I remember there was a point in time where we did do the Skype thing for a little bit. And then we just kind of stopped doing mm -hmm. it. And it's kind of like, well, it's just easier to talk to someone on the phone. And, of course, it's always easier to call up someone and say, hey, how's it going? But the reality is, is a lot of people don't really do that a lot because you just don't. Well, last week I was part of a Zoom group. Mm -hmm. Brian Virch up in Canada, he set it up. And it was me... I joined it, Susan and Michael Nepper, Sid Thomas down in Burbank, California, Angelica Navarro down in L.A. Um, there was, my, my name, my, I'm escaping names, but there was a guy down in Palm Springs. And um, we, were on, we were on doing this, this Zoom thing for like about two hours. Mm -hmm. just, and it was great to just sit there and talk. And... Um, I love that. And then you were part of a, a Zoom thing with yeah, uh, Bossa Nova Yeah, uh, it was the Bossa Nova Bash. So I, I think there were, I think, at least 14, 15 users eventually. But at 
most of the time we had four or five people, most of the, maybe three or four on video and then a few on audio. I, I remember uh, Jim Sloan up in uh, Victoria, BC. He was on there and... So what you're Lava saying, what you're saying is Zoom name, right? actually reaches out to Victoria, BC? Yeah, yeah. It Canada. Goes, it crosses the borders. They don't stop them there. Wow. I would have joined, but I was doing my hair that night. <laughs> no, the it, thing it is, was, I did, no, the shampoo. thing is, I, I, it's one of those things like I knew about it, but I didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sorry, I would have loved to join it. But the thing is, like, I'm speaking from my experiences when we did when I did that Zoom thing. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. I loved it, and it was great to like because you can see the person, they can see and, you, and talk. you could have a legitimate back and forth with them. Yeah, and for a lot of people out there, you got like Tiki Ton. Mm -hmm. You got Tiki Oasis, Pukilop, in New Haley. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. And for a lot of people, sometimes that's the only time they're going to see their friends from like all over the world. Right. But if we learn anything from this, what we're, what we're learning is that we could actually legitimately reach out to each other all the time yeah. this way. So you're probably noticing that right now there's so much more going on on Facebook than you've ever seen before. People are joining groups like crazy. People are doing live streams like crazy. It's just, it's a way for people to reach out and, I guess, touch each other, so to speak, <laughs> while we're, while we're you know, somewhat self-isolated. Touch, touch each other? Touch each other. You need that touch. It could be electronic. That gentle aloha touch. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? <laughs> so, if there's anything, there's, not, there's nothing, I, I, I mean, I'm, there's nothing good about this coronavirus. And I hope, it, I hope we get over the hump sooner than later. But the only thing, the message that I want to take away from all this is like, after this is all said and done, let's still continue to use these tools that we have, mm -hmm. like Zoom right. or Skype or whatever you're using. Because there are people that are all over the world that I'm friends with. Mm -hmm. And I miss, I miss a lot of people. Yeah, I can tell you, I, I particularly didn't really bother with it because I had, you know, a world-class tiki bar right down the road from me. So I would go see my friends there. Yeah. But now I, I, I can't do that. Yeah, I did a road trip. I'll tell you what, Jason. I did a road trip mm -hmm. across the country last year. And um, I went to Minneapolis. I went to Kansas City. I went to Indianapolis. That was a, those were the main hubs that I went to. Mm -hmm. And the thing that was awesome is that there were, to see these tiki crews, there's like, like even in like Ventura, California, like up where um, Ben Tiki's at and stuff like that. And it really was awesome to see like in each of these cities, there's their own tiki groups. A lot of great people, a lot of cool people. And after I did my road trip and came back, I'm like, like, really, that's it? Like, I'm never going to see these people again? Because when's the next time I'm going to be in Indianapolis? When's the next time I'm going to be in Kansas City and stuff like that? Well, I do have my road trip planned for this year. Mm -hmm. um, it's at the end of May. Hopefully, it'll still be on. Hopefully, everything will be back to normal by then, I hope. But if not, it's not. But the point is, it's like, now we can reach out to each other. Right. And what, what is it that we were discussing earlier today? Online Ohana. Online Ohana. And this is going to be the name of this episode. Yes. And there will be more in the future. And hopefully we can have guests on. And maybe, maybe we'll even do this live in front of an audience and then stream it live. Mm -hmm. But let's take advantage of this technology. And um, I just want to say to everyone out there, I miss you. I miss you all, wherever you are. And please be safe. And, you know, ho hopefully this will be done sooner than later. I, I can tell you just the last few weeks has had a huge impact on me not being able to visit my, my local tiki bar, the Devil's Reef, and not being able to go to my, my friend's home tiki bars because that, that was my major social outlet. I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a reasonably responsible adult, so I, it, it's not like I go crazy all the time, but when I have a chance to, I, I want to spend time with my friends. And I don't mind having a drink or two. Yeah. Speaking of which, Ray, what, what all are we drinking today? I know you mentioned that uh, you, you got a, a recipe by Jason Alexander there, but I also made for us a couple of quarantacaries, because I keep hearing about quarantinis, and I thought, I'm into tiki. You don't drink martinis in tiki, so quarantacaries. Corn taqueries. Corn taqueries. So I made some with Probitas earlier, and these are made with uh, Plantation 3 Star. Well, here's to all you out there. If you watch the show, if you're watching this, thank you very much. And um, 
I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I miss you all. I hope you're all well. Please be safe. And um, there'll be another one of these soon. Yes. And when we all get to the other side of this, which we're, we're going to get to the other side of this. This is not the way it's going to be from now on. This is just something we got to go through and literally get to the other side. But when it's all said and done, we'll be able to meet up in each other's home tiki bars. We'll be able to, to meet up at the, at the tiki bars we all know and love. And that's when we shall tiki. Yeah, we shall tiki. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Be safe. Absolutely. All right, one of us has to reach forward and stop that. I guess that'll be me. <laughs> that would be you, Ray. It's hard to do when you have a lot of rum in you. <laughs>